What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with a card that obviously you guys need to lock in, and it is Jason Tatum. So not Jason Tatum, Nikola You need to lock in Jason Tatum for Nikola Jokic, we've just done a Jason Tatum gameplay. So, I was thinking I'm going to keep Jason Tatum in the squad right now. No point using Kuzma because he can just get burned, so... Check, is there any, this guy have any two guards that I might want to put in instead of Tatum? No, Tatum's fine in there. But uh, yeah, so it's going to be a Nikola Jokic gameplay. And again, big, big thank you to the guy for letting me use his account. He doesn't have Gilbert Arenas evo up. Okay, that changes a lot. Okay, he still needs eight steals in him. I was like, okay, that changes a lot. He goes from being one of the best point guys in the game to someone that I can't really use. So let's replace Gilbert Arenas with the Jet. Um, the thing is, Gilbert Arenas doesn't get clamps um, when he's not evolved, so... Hence why I can't really put him in the squad. But um, yeah, so Jokic is going to be quite an expensive card to use. He's probably Tatum plus, 100, plus 150k, I'd say. He's got 17 Hall of Fame badges, including Hall of Fame range extender, which is nuts for a center. And Hall of Fame catch and shoot. He has got Hall of Fame quick draw. Hall of Fame dimer, Hall of Fame back down punisher. He's also got Hall of Fame intimidator, Hall of Fame rim protector. Um, which is so not Hall of Fame gold intimidator, gold rim protector. He's got, obviously, Hall of Fame Quick Draw, which is helpful. Go tired of shooter. Got a great posting and fadeaway. Great mid-range. Great three ball. Okay dunking. You got a decent shot block. He's got not great perimeter defense. Or not good at all perimeter defense. Okay interior defense. A good rebounding. Great speed, speed ball, and acceleration for a center. He's also got not great lateral quickness. So, overall, he's going to be a bit of a liability on defense. But the question is, is he going to be too much of a liability on defense to be useful on offense? Do I think he's going to be at the level of Bill Russell, Hakeem Olajuwon, um... Or he'd probably be on Chris, I'd say best case scenario, he'll be a Chris Bosch type player. That's probably best case scenario for him. Um, obviously, he got a better handle. He's going to be out a little bit quicker than Bosch. Better rebound and worse than your defense. So, I'd say it's probably best case scenario. But he might be better than like Aiton and Embiid, which is kind of like the next tier of centers. But the funny thing is with this card right here, you can now put together, I'm pretty sure, a full team of Hall of Fame range extender players. So you can put together Jokic at the five, and you can have Dirk as the other five. I'm pretty sure there are small forwards slash power forwards with Hall of Fame range extender. If I know, obviously, Larry Bird is one of them. But if there is one more, actually, Hito Turkaloo. You can run two of those guys to four. You can run with a bunch of guys like Team and all at the three. There's so many of them, um, and at the two and the one, there are plenty. But uh, yeah, that's kind of... That is crazy. You can now put together the full Hall of Fame range extender squad, and we are only in January. Last year, it literally, like, I'm not even lying. Last year, to put together a full Hall of Fame range extender squad, including playing people in position, it literally took until whenever Myers Leonard. I'm trying to think which one came out last, whether it was Dirk or Myers Leonard, but I'm pretty sure it was actually Dirk. So I think it was the middle of May when you could do it. This year, you can do it, and it is currently the 13th of January. But anyway, yeah. That is the team we are running with. Now it's gone to the hot zones and release for Jokic. Then we're getting on to the game. So Jokic is a bit different in other centers with his high ball control rating. Obviously, he doesn't have... He's not um, going to be able to handle all much. Doesn't have great animations. I was kind of hoping that he'd be able to at least cross over into a quick behind the back, but the ball control doesn't seem to be worth much in this scenario. And I, the fact that I shot a full white glitch to start off this isn't a good thing. The release this year... I don't know. Like, I know he's a Hall of Fame quick draw. I've used the other Jokic. I was actually a big fan of Jokic's release in 2K19, but I don't know what they've... Uh, like, this is a slow release even with quick draw. Just saying that right now. Like, there are some Hall of there are some catapult shooter players, like um, Richard Jefferson, that I'm kind of used to their releases, as well as Jamal Wilkes, but... Oh, this is kind of... This isn't a fun... This isn't an easy release to time. It's not, not going to be an easy release to use. It's not going to be an easy release to get off either. Like... If you guys have used Jokic, you have to release the shot maybe, like, saying a half second is way too much, but, like, it's a split second before you. Would, it looks like you should release the ball. Like, you literally have to release the ball, like, as he's, his arms are still in motion. Normally, it's kind of, you'd think it would be a little bit later, hence why I'm shooting a lot of them late, slightly late at the start, but it is definitely a hard release to time by looking at the release, but, nah, it should be quite good. It should be all right in the end. Like, again, it's a lot easier than Dirk's anyway. Okay, it takes a little bit of time to get into that fadeaway, which is a little bit annoying. The slower it takes to get into the fadeaway, the harder it is to get it off, because it's very, very obvious what you're doing. In the post, I was meant to be a hook shot. Obviously, I messed up something there. Just got a normal hook shot, which is fine. Obviously, it has a good rating, but 
what he again what he's mainly going to be used for is shooting threes as well as shooting threes from quite deep because you know there's no point having half fame range center if you're not going to use it so anyway yeah that's pretty much it um now let's just screen one three make sure it's from deep as well like there's no point in uh, not having from deep when we can it's a full white glitch really it's a bad release ah right, here lads can we just hit one of these now let's get on to the game Okay, so we are playing against a no clamps arenas Yao Ming, who's actually not a bad matchup for Jokic, just in terms of getting points with him. Uh, James Worthy and obviously Eva DeRozan. So uh, we will be able to just play NASCAR with DeRozan. We really want to if we are really stuck, but uh, we should. This should be a uh, should be okay. Wide open, green light there by Jokic. Let's go. I'm telling you, that's not a fast release. You can give Jokic Hall of Fame quick draw all you want, but it won't make his release fast. Oh, I should have been there. We're late on that one. That's good. Yeah, that's poor defense by me. You know what? It is still early, early days. Still the first ever, just over a minute into the game. That's another open three, and that's another green light there by Jokic to make it a one-point game again. Diving that. We are so out of position here. We got to make a base. There we go. We've done... As long as Rose is back in the picture, that's a good job. Good job, lads. They've done so much worse there in, in terms of recovery defense. And we have let them get into Yao. Okay, that wasn't an ideal thing. All he had to do was probably, like, he had me in position with Yao. But defense there by Tatum. I'm good boy by Jokic. You can push it. Oh, Jokic there. The snatch back into the three point shot. And that's a green light. Let's go, Jokic. All right, maybe the handle is a little bit helpful. Three of five and three here with Jokic. I'm not going to score much inside, let's be real with him. Because he is being guarded by Yao. The one player that I kind of worried about is Larry. And double down away for this pass here. Oh, how did we not get that steal? I read that one perfectly there. You know what? You're not going to get a strip every time, so let's take that handy. Let's just play NASCAR. That's an easy two points. Delbert Arenas cannot guard D-Rose without clamps. Larry got open because he does have Hall of Fame Dimer. So that's an easy shot there by Larry Bird. That is a, that is one of like the kind of underrated things about Jokic is he does have Hall of Fame Dimer. So that is definitely a positive. We're light on that one. To be fair though, he does have Harden, which is another player that again, I can just play NASCAR on. So... Not a bad, not the worst thing in the world to come up against him. And also Jokic and Kemba. He has got one player, one and a half players on his floor that can play defense. It's a good shot there by Jokic from three, who's now his fourth three of the game. His only players that can play defense right now are Siakam and somewhat AD. AD's a little bit small to play post defense, but okay. Live with those hezzies. Good defense, lads. We can give him space. Okay, we need some sort of help here. We're good. Run back hard. I can live with that shot. It's full white glitch. And, oh, Jokic misses the rebound. We're there. And we had to stop the easy drive to the basket, but ended up giving up the layup instead, which is not great. Kick to him. Oh, that was a fake. I was meant to fake and give it to Larry in the corner. Oh, well, that sometimes happens. And Jokic cannot get the stop there. We're, wait, we're down by four? What? I did not realize that. Bang, bang. Back to one right there. With Jokic with his fifth three-point of the game. But as usual, with all big men, he has got glass cleaner takeover. My defense must really be horrendous right now. If uh, Jokic shooting 5A from three and I'm losing. Spin him. Good job there by Jokic. And, okay, I thought for a second Kemba had stopped him going to the basket. Like, Kemba can't guard a guard. He definitely can't guard Jokic. Okay, I thought he was going to just hesitate there. And uh, it's good defense right there. Let's push it. Let's hit Jokic. Snatch back into the semi-contested jumper, but it's off. Not a smart thing to do. And just wait and go for the steal. Okay, I'm trying to see. Full white glitch. Straight line. Let's play NASCAR. They have no one that can stop. Okay, they do. I was about to say they have no one that can stop Rose. And the one player that can was right there waiting. And they go and 
Unfortunately, they go and play an okay defensive possession there and get to stop. It's all right though, we've still got plenty, plenty of time left in this game. And obviously we've got to get our bench in, which means I'm not running through one player, so we should be okay to win this game. Yeah, let's make this a one-on-one, -on -one, which I'm pretty sure Terry's gonna win. Because again, we can play NASCAR, and I was trying to get to the other side of the basket, but the thing is that Terry's got clamps, whereas Arenas doesn't, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Uh, play him up higher, and because I can't always drop back, jump. We're good with that. Jump. And he goes and greens it with uh, Worthy. I'm not a fan of James Worthy this year. Like, I think the fact that you could go and put um, Limitless on him last year made him a lot better. You put Gold Limitless on him. I'm just not the biggest fan of this card this year. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Exactly the reason why I just said. No Limitless. But T-Mac in the corner. Green. That's a good job. Uh, collapsing the defense and kicking to a shooter. Sway back in and bait. Oh, don't leave the Rosen. We got lucky there. I was a lucky, oh, okay, as I was about to say, it was a lucky pass, I didn't think it was going to get stolen, but I was dumb, Giannis was never going to stop that cut. Um, unless he tries to post me up. I was about to say, like, he wasn't going to break, get by me in the wing, but if he tried to post me up there, I was kind of screwed. One more into the corner, I'm pretty sure he's got Hall of Fame Dimer, and that's green there by Lamar Odom, 23 point lead, and that's a rage quit. Okay, so now we're going to try him out in a game mode that I don't think he's going to be very good in. Uh, triple threat, and... We're gonna put him in as our. I'll put him in as our center instead of Bill Russell. Yoko just going in there. Let's just give him a contract, and then we are also putting in something that can handle the ball, kind of. Put in T Mac. Yeah, that should be a good three. Okay, so he is matching up to Lamar Odom here. It's gonna be a tricky matchup, but I don't think Lamar Odom's post defense, from what I, from what I remember using this card a bit before, I don't think his post defense isn't is great. You know, we got him in a pick and roll situation. We got the mismatch here, though. Should have him on the spin. And just wait. Keep the shooter in the corner. Off the Hall of Fame Dimer pass. And he can't hit it. Another shot off a Hall of Fame Dimer pass. This time, 17% contest, and he knocks it down. That's the thing, though. Again, you cannot forget that Jokic is out here with Hall of Fame Dimer. Which is very, very important. And he's also the first. Which I think, how many Hall of Fame range extender centers have we had? Or Hall of Fame Limitless Centers over the years. We've had... Oh, that's his range. Can't hit it. We've had Myers Leonard. And like, I know we've got like Porzingis and Dirk and stuff that have been power forwards. I can't... I can't think of any of them specifically that we've had over the years that were centers. Am I... Who, I must be forgetting people. Because actually, no, to be fair, we definitely did in 2K17 because there was like 10 Hall of Fame Limitless range players in the game. 2K18, I'm pretty sure the only Hall of Fame Limitless big man we had was uh, Dirk Nowitzki, especially. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was the only Hall of Fame Limitless range power forward or center. And last year, I think Dirk might have been. Okay, we got to take this shot with T-Mac. We sold big time, but it went in. Yeah, I'm trying to think who last year. Did Kevin Love have a Limitless? Um, I know Myers Leonard was a Hall of Fame Limitless center. But that's like the last one I can think of. Okay, halfway line. That is his shot, and that's a full white glitch. Exactly, but I didn't want to shoot right there. Oh, wow, it's still a super slow release. That is still a super slow release, but again, they went and shot a full white glitch right there. It evens up. Okay, it was the wrong button. We still got a wide out mid-range, and we shoot a full white glitch. Come on, and how was that 25 second test? And none of us were near them. Well, none of them were near us. Get in the lane. Should have got that steal. Get there, get there. Unlucky. All right, so it is out. I'm pretty sure Jokic is not the best triple trap player to use. And again, all I do is just act up threes. And triple trap, that's off the corner of the board. Come on. There we go. Nice basket there. We got to play triple trap like it's NBA 2K19 style. Just literally just dump it into big men. That's how everyone used to play. It was like Kareem, David Robinson, and Shaq. And because all of them can hit wide open shots, it was like, yeah, let's post them up. Whoever their little guy is, we're just going to post up. And considering this guy is using all guards, that's pretty much all his team. That's an easy hook there for Jokic. It's unfortunate. I wish he had like sharp or playmaking take. Like if he had playmaking takeover, that would be unreal. Because he'd be out here crossing people up, speed boosting, a bit like the Arvidas Sabonis card from last year. 
who has like a seven foot three speed booster. But unfortunately, he's got glass takeover, which, you know, I'm not too big a fan of. And he's being triple teamed right now. Hits Giannis off the Hall of Fame Dimer pass, and Giannis can't hit the three. But Jokic comes up the rebound. Hit some space there on the fade, and he greens it. Let's go. He obviously, going into the post, a little bit more of a success, more successful of a tactic than I thought it was going to be. Snatch back into the three. Let's go, Jokic. We are out here shooting snatch back and deep at threes with a center. Thankfully, Jokic isn't like a free gat lead or an unbelievable shot blocker because if that was the case, we'd be in an end game already. Let's just hope that it's hope that it's still June when we do see the inevitable Opal Shaq type player from last year. And that is a full eye glitch. Um, because imagine, like the rate it's going, we're going to be seeing like a speed boosting three point shooting Shaq in like March. <laughs> like that is the way the power creep has gone this year. Um, and no, I think as long as we start seeing them type of ridiculously OP cards in like June, I'm happy. Shoot the fade. Good shot there by Jokic. It's like these cards right here, like this Jokic here is very, it's probably a little bit better than the one that we saw in May last year. And like, I remember when I was making my tier list videos, I thought Jokic might've been the best center in the game last in at the end of May last year. And we've already seen a better Jokic than last year's in January. But uh, yeah, I just, it'll be interesting to see what way this game goes in like May and June. Like how quickly it dies out. That's a good uh, shot right there with Giannis to win the game. So anyway, that is the video. Jokic is a pretty good and pretty like kind of fun card to use. What level I put him at, he is not on the level of Bill Russell, Jason Terry. Um, it's not Jason Terry. He's not on the level of Bill Russell, Hakeem Olajuwon. Um, I don't know. He's a different, like, I think you could argue he's better than being Nathan. And I wouldn't disagree if you said that. He's like, a, he's like a better Carl Anthony Towns. That's the best way to describe him. He's a better Carl Anthony Towns. Offensively, he's right up there with the best in him, but defensively, he's not quite at that level. I'd say I put him at a similar, different type player, but on a similar level to Chris Bosh. Just that little bit away from an elite tier center, but pretty good nonetheless. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.